Welcome to Have a Happy Arty Time. My name's Jeanette and for this project I'm going to be using paint markers on my jelly plate and then a little bit of acrylic paint to pull the print and see what it comes up like. So underneath my jelly plate I have taped my image. Now this image is a public domain image so you can use it exactly as it is without any copyright issues. So let's get started. I'm going to use some greens to put in the stems of the flowers etc underneath and I'm going to start with some light. Now these have to be primed so I'm just going to very gently prime this up and paint this on. Now again with me nothing will be perfect. It's quite interesting painting over the top of this because it's giving me a 3D look underneath so I'm not quite sure where my lines are exactly meant to go but so far the pen is working beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid on that one and use a little bit darker green now to go alongside some of this. And I'll just gently prime this up. It's lovely. It's actually moving in with that other one. So I find I can actually blend my colours together. A little bit of dark, a little bit of light. I'll be letting this dry on the jelly plate before I attempt to pull the print. Very nice. I've got some leaves here. So I'm just going to outline those leaves. Now I'm just pressing very lightly because I don't want to hurt the jelly plate at all. These are fairly pointy markers, so I'm just being careful. I actually think that one was a flower, but that's okay. We've turned it into a leaf. Now I'm going to put a little bit of light back into this leaf just to cover that in. So if I turn the marker on its side, I'll be able to place some colour in with a thicker mark. I love drawing. I find it very relaxing. So this is kind of exciting to be able to do this. And the colours are mixing together, which is really good for what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm just going to... Take my piece of roll off sheet here and just make sure I get that other colour off so that's fine. Just priming this colour now. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit in there. And I'd like to add some pinks into here with the flowers. This mauve here and we can add more detail to this of course once we've pulled the print. Now I'm going to get some yellow and just place that into the leaves as well and I'm going to then start on each butterfly. I'm just going to take my time with this, relax and draw. It's not going to come out exactly the way the drawing is but we'll see how it goes. that nib off. Just taking a little bit of water on a paintbrush, just knock that back a little bit. So I'll just continue drawing over these and I will come back before I paint the butterflies in. So I'm back with the line drawings all done on the butterflies with black paint pen. And I'm just going to colour some in now and I'll speed that up for you and go from there. Turning it on its sides allowing me to get a nice fat line across. 
Okay, so we have an orange one, a bit of orange down here. I can see these markers being really valuable to working on the gel plate. It's exciting. Okay, let's turn that on the side. Very nice. Now we might go for some yellow. And now for the big butterfly. I think I'll try and do a little bit of pattern on this one. So I might use all of the colors that I've used. So I'm just going to go around the outer tips here with the yellow. Get some of that nice bright blue. This blue comes out beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit of that bright blue up here and we'll add it over here and we'll add some into these sections. And I think I will go in with the yellow. Add a little bit of yellow into there, a little bit of yellow into here and we'll try with some yellow here. Okay, see if we can get a bit of orange into that one. The orange works beautifully. Clean off any residue that is on your tip. We'll let that dry and I'll be back. These markers are said to be fast drying and they are proving to be so. This is exciting. Now I've got to think of a colour to go on the back of this and I was hoping to do it sort of a vintage colour. So I'm thinking just a cream may work. So I'll just mix that up with my acrylics and I'll layer that down. Just have a little bit of brown here. Just using it on a little piece of acetate. Nice big chunk of white there. Give that colour a mix around. See if we're going to get a creamy brown. Yes, just an off-white is what I was looking for. Proves to be doing that. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll load up our brayer. And I'll just... Get this on as quick as we can. Now we only want a thin layer, so I'll just be taking some of that off onto our piece of paper so I can see that I have all sorts of things on that brayer. I'll try a clean one. Okay. So we're going to give that a go. Place this on. I'm going to get my heavy book, pop that on, and I might even get my other heavy book, pop that on as well, and I'll be back. So I'm back. It's been about 20 minutes that these have been sitting on the image, so I'm going to take my heavy books off. Here's hoping. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but let's see. So I'm just going to very gently start pulling back. I'm just going to stop there, lay that over. I've just seen a little bit of paper lifting. So I'm just going to pull from this way now. Put my finger on the jelly plate. I did have a little bit of black grunge on this jelly plate prior and I can see that now. But have a look at this. Oh, how beautiful is this? This is wonderful. I'm so excited. I can do a little bit with the flowers. I can add a little bit of white here and there. But here we are using these uh, Tristro, I don't know how to pronounce it, art paint pens. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just purchased them online because for me, I was having so much trouble with my Posca pens not working. So I thought I'd give one last try at paint pens on my jelly plate. And I am absolutely delighted. This is such a lot of fun and so simple. I'm just so excited. I'm going to add some white 
into some of these areas and some more color I think we'll just see how we go but I don't want to change it too much because I just love it so I'll prime this one up and fast forward and you'll see the process enjoy Okay, so I think that's enough white on there. And I'm just going to play around some more. I think add a little bit more black in places. And just enjoy the whole process. It's just wonderful. Once these are primed, they seem to be staying primed. So that's just lovely. And these are nice and opaque, so they're actually covering over anything I don't want there, which is just wonderful. So I can even go back in over the darker colours and get this to work. It's just great. Now some pink on these flowers. Tone that white down a little bit so I didn't want the flowers to fully stand out. A little bit on these leaves. And I think this was actually a leaf so I'm just going to turn that one green. Usually I cover everything in black, outline everything in black, white, but this time I'm just wanting to knock these right back so our butterflies shine out. I'll see what I do. I have a tendency to change things after I've looked at them for a while. So it's just playtime. So I'm liking what this looks like. Let's highlight these butterflies a little bit more. It's a little bit more black, just in some little areas. And I think I've knocked the other back enough. I'm so liking it. I just want it to really stay like a print. I might add a little bit of white to these leaves. I'm just going to see. I'm not sure. Knock it back even further. Yes, I think so. Okay, so I think I've knocked the leaves back enough. And I might actually just put a little bit of yellow back over the top of this one. So for me, this is finished now. You can take this as far as you'd like to. I'm not sure what I'll do with the leaves, but if I do anything different, I'll show you a picture at the end. So thank you so much for watching this. Please excuse my washing machine in the background if you can hear it. And I really hope that you have a happy arty time. So stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye for now.